Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The SLD Glassy Baitfish is a flashy little pattern that's just perfect for catching bass and pike. It's both light in weight and sheds water well, making it quite easy to cast. The fly starts with a size 6 heavy-duty hook. After getting the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise, load a bobbin with a spool of white unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the eye and after taking a few wraps rearward, snip off the excess tag. Continue taking thread wraps rearward to about the midpoint of the hook shank. The body of the fly is made up of four different colors of angel hair. You may find it helpful to unfold and lay out all four colors prior to tying any of them in. Then, to save on materials, snip each of the four clumps in half at its midpoint. Organize one set of halves so you have gunmetal, then black, then UV blue, and finally UV violet. Pick up just a small amount of the UV violet fibers and find their midpoint. Place the midpoint above your tying thread and take a couple of nice tight wraps to anchor it to the top of the hook shank. Fold the forward pointing portion back and bind that down as well. End with your tying thread immediately in front of the tied in material. Flip the fly around in your vise or rotate your vise so the underside of the hook faces up. Pull out another similar sized clump of the UV violet angel hair. This time, however, fold its midpoint around the hook shank like so and take thread wraps to secure it. Try to get roughly equal amounts of fibers on either side of the hook point. Flip the fly back to its normal orientation and trim off anything that's excessively long so it doesn't get in the way and cause tangles. Now, grab a small clump of the black angel hair and find its midpoint. Fold that around the hook shank angle it rearward and begin taking thread wraps to secure it in that orientation. Like before, trim off any overly long fibers. Once again, rotate your vise or invert the hook. Pull another clump of UV violet angel hair free and again fold it around the hook shank, pull it rearwards and anchor it there. Get hold of just the smallest amount of UV blue angel hair and lay its midpoint against the near side of the hook, then take thread wraps to secure it. Pull the forward pointing portion over to the far side of the fly and anchor it there with wraps of tying thread before flipping the fly back to its normal orientation with the hook point down. Finally, pull free a sparse clump of the gunmetal angel hair and lay that against the near side of the hook. Anchor it with thread wraps, pull the forward pointing portion to the far side of the fly and secure it there. Take additional thread wraps to build up a nice clean little head on the fly. Then reach for your whip finish tool and use it to do a 5 or 6 turn back to front whip finish, then snip your tying thread free. Fluff the material out into more of a fan shape in preparation for putting on the eyes. To adhere the eyes, squeeze out a small amount of flexible adhesive or super glue onto a scrap piece of paper. Using a bodkin, pick up just the tiniest amount of the adhesive and apply it to the near side of the fly right behind the thread head. You don't need much. Flip the fly over, pick up another small amount of adhesive and apply that to the far side of the fly. Select one of the 3D eyes and set it in the adhesive on the near side of the fly. Just a bit of pressure should temporarily secure it. Do the same with the second eye on the far side of the fly. Make sure the eyes are mirror images of each other, then give them a little squeeze to really set them in the adhesive. Get hold of your head cement and use it to thoroughly coat the exposed thread wraps and to fill in some of the space between the stick-on eyes. Once again, fluff the material out into a fan shape, then allow everything to dry and set firm. 
To trim the fly to shape, you may find it easier to remove it from your vise. Begin snipping the fibers roughly into a diamond shape, then feather the edges by snipping parallel to the fibers. This will produce a more natural look to the finished fly. And that's the SLD Glassy Baitfish. The fly's tall but flat shape and a good bit of shimmer help to make it incredibly effective. <laughs>